In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a simple REST API with Node.js and Express. First thing we want to do is initialize a new Node.js project. To do this, we run npm init. We can just enter through all of these options here. As you can see here, we have index.js as our entry point. This means we need to create an index.js file. That will be where our, our server lives. Once we've created that file, we're going to need to install three modules Express, Body Parser, NodeMon. Express is the framework we're going to be building the API on. Body Parser is required for when we're passing data through the body of the request. And NodeMon is just for the development so we can actually, instead of constantly starting and stopping our application, it will automatically just refresh when we save the file. Now to do this, we run npm i and do express space node mon space and then body dash parser. Hit enter, it should install. As we can see in the package.json file, we now have these three dependencies installed. Let's jump into our index file and actually start importing these modules. So let's import the express module. then we need to create an express application. This is, we're initializing the actual API at this point. So next up we want to import the body parser. Then we want to tell express that it needs to use body parser for the application and to do that we do app.use body parser.json which means we're going to pass the data in the body as json so rather than connecting to a database at the moment what we're going to do is we're going to have um, a variable of data and this is just going to be a little array that we have it's going to have a name and an age We'll add a few in there. For so now we can start creating our routes. So the first route that we want to create will be our get route. So this is what's going to return the data back to the request. So to do this, we do app.get and give it an endpoint to look at. So we're going to have just a, full, uh, just a backslash there. And then we now to create a function and inside this function is a request and a resolve request is the data that's coming into the api the resolve is the data that's going to be pushed out of the API. so inside here what we want to do is we want to return this data array i'm going to do res.send Get rid of this underscore here. Res.json, sorry, because we're passing JSON data back and it's going to be data. So, what we can do is we can actually test this. First of all, we need to initialize uh, the actual application. To do this, we do app.listen. We need to tell it what port it needs to listen on. For this, we're going to just have port 3000. Then we're just going to have a little function here that's just going to tell us that the, the application is running inside our terminal if we now run node one dot let's close that function off there we go see server is running on port 3000 if we test this here what we can do is if we open postman we have get data here, click send, and we should get our data back from localhost 3000. And these are our three objects that we have inside of our. As you can see here, we're going to create a post request, a patch request. This one that should. So 
So next we're going to create the post request. So app.post. This is going to be the same as before. We're just going to pass it through to the forward slash. What we want to do is we want to push the new data that's coming through from the request here into data right here. And then we're going to return back data array. So as an example, inside Postman here, we have Jim, who's 43. If we now click send, we now have four items in our array. Let's add Mike, who's 23. Click send, and we now have five items. So now we've added, let's look at updating uh, one of the items in the array. To do this, we do app.patch. And what we're going to do inside here, actually, we're going to take an index inside of inside of the URL. So that way, when we look at the data array, we can actually reference the, the index of the array we're looking at, the object we're looking at, sorry. Then we can replace that with the request.body. Now, this isn't the perfect way of doing it. If you're doing this as a real project, you want to do some checking here to make sure in the correct fields and that those fields do actually exist don't get errors so if we save that now it's restarted the server so our array is back to this so what we want to do is we want to go to patch here and we're going to patch the second part of the array with gym 43 so if we click send we now have john peter and gym 43 we can update this to Mike as well. Mike 43, click send. It's now updated this to Mike 43. If we get the data, see that that's actually back this brand new array. Now that we've got the data, we've posted the data, we've updated the data. Now we need to look at deleting data from the array. To do this, we run app.delete. We're going to take an index inside of here again because we need to know which index we're going to be deleting from the array. Do that by doing data.splice and then we pass in the index and the amount the quantity of want to remove from the array at this this is one. And then we're going to pass back that array again. So once the server's restarted, we can go into Postman, we can go delete, and let's delete index one. Let's pass back John and Mary. Let's delete index two. No, index one again, because we start at zero. We should just have John returned. So let's post in Mike23. James 12. Click send, we have three in there now. Delete, let's delete zero, which will be John. Click send, just end up with Mike and James. If you found this video useful, check out this video on the screen now to learn more about JavaScript.